Well, guys, the propaganda out there is really, really astonishing. We're living in an era, guys, where the trans propaganda in the alphabet movement. It's just gotten way, way, way out of control, guys. Way out of control. Now, when it comes to the LGB and T. The T man is something that uh, we have never seen before, you know, especially, you know, the last five to 10 years. But really, I would actually say, you know, the last three years it's gotten way, way out of control. Because the left is really pushing dangerous propaganda on kids. Folks, when it comes to biology. Men have certain body parts, women, females. They have their own body parts as well. They have their own sets, organs. Now, me as a male, no matter how I actually identify, I will never, ever be able to have a period. It just just not going to happen, man. I don't have that lining or anything like that. All you got to do is look down in between your pants. And that's going to tell you everything you need to know. It's impossible. It can not happen. But social media, man, social media is a blessing and a curse. I guess you could say. Because social media, man, messages get out there really, really fast. It really does. It gets out there really, really fast. But also it can influence people to believe things that are not real. Males cannot have periods in the story. It is a biological fact. No matter how you identify, you cannot get a period. Only women. Women are the ones that can actually get periods. Girls. That's just the way it is, man. So when I see this video, guys, of a, um, I'm assuming this is a TikTok, but I actually found it on, um, on it of this male identifying as a female and saying, you know what? I got my period. How did that even happen? How did that even happen? That is impossible. But I guess this person bought into the propaganda that the left has been pushing out there. This is insane, man. Let's get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us on Locals for just $5 per month or grab a membership at blackandwhitenetwork.com. Here we go. I was just scrolling on it. Really haven't been on it this whole weekend. But then Riley Gaines posted this uh, video here. She says, I've never seen a woman respond like this to getting her period. That's how you know this is a man. LOL. Because right here. In this video clip, there's music, so I'm not going to play it. This person. Definitely looks older than someone who would actually get their first period. You know, girls getting their first period, I guess, around what age? 12 or so, something like that. This person puts up, and this is a male, identifying as female, puts this up. I got a period as a trans woman. So they're admitting I'm a male, but some kind of way I got a period. And they put out this video here. I mean, what female actually does this? What female actually does this? I can't think of one, man. I can't think of one. See, this is the propaganda that I'm talking about right here. This is the propaganda. And it's increasing, man. I mean, we've really, really lost common sense. We really have. I mean, left is definitely out there, man, using um, preferred pronouns and stuff like that. I don't do that, man. I don't do that because it's not real, man. It's not real. 
You guys remember uh, Dylan Mulvaney, Bud Light, right? Dylan Mulvaney was uh, complaining about uh, being quote unquote misgendered. And the left was going after you if you didn't use these pronouns. Even though I believe the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing is really a griff. That's what it is. It is a griff, man. And Dylan Mulvaney made money charging universities $40,000 for a session that nobody showed up to because the Dylan Mulvaney really isn't that important. Yeah. I mean, bragging about getting a period. I don't believe this person actually got a period. I don't because it's impossible. But the attention on social media, man, the propaganda is more important. I mean, can we see the blood? Actually, in reality, I don't want to see any of that at all. I don't want to see that equipment. I don't. This is disgusting, man. Disgusting, man. This propaganda needs to stop. But it seems like there's no end in sight, man. This is what indoctrination does. This is what indoctrination does, man. Probably posted that video because it definitely looked like a TikTok to influence children and influence them, corrupt their minds. And we need to put a stop to this. This has no place for children. The children are the most vulnerable, man. And the children, they don't know any better. So if they actually see something like this, it's going to confuse their minds. Man, we lost our way. We have really, really, really lost our way. The propaganda needs to stop. This is insane, man. Sad. You never saw this stuff, man, when I was a kid or even as a young adult. I'm middle aged now. Now it's gotten crazy. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.